Hello, this is Alex with the National Weather Service office here in Norman with an update on severe storm chances this afternoon. Currently, there is an enhanced risk for portions of central and southeastern Oklahoma. There is a wide range of hazards expected from this second round of severe weather with a chance of large hail, damaging wind, flooding due to heavy precipitation, as well as a chance for a tornado or two. For the timing, there will be a continuous chance of severe storms in north central Oklahoma associated with an upper level wave moving across northern Oklahoma with a primary concern for hail. For central and southern Oklahoma, as well as western North Texas, we're expecting storms to initiate due to increasing instability and an approaching dry line in southwestern Oklahoma and western North Texas this early afternoon. These storms that develop will then move eastward through central and southeast Oklahoma. With these discrete storms, we expect to see the largest severe potential, with hail up to the size of baseballs, winds up to 60 to 80 miles per hour, and a chance for tornadoes. These storms should move eastward and exit the area by 9 p.m. tonight. As mentioned, there's a medium tornado threat primarily associated with any discrete supercells that may form in southwest and central Oklahoma this afternoon. This tornado threat will decrease as the complex exits the area. There's a slight chance for flash flooding, mainly in central and north central Oklahoma. The main concern will be areas that have received consistent precipitation since last night and this morning. Additional rainfall may lead to flash flooding in this area as more storms move on through. So to sum things up, we're watching for development of additional severe weather in southwest Oklahoma and western North Texas over the next couple hours. Conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms to develop and intensify in southern Oklahoma through the afternoon. If you're in any of the risk areas, you can prepare for severe weather today by making sure you have multiple ways of receiving severe weather alerts, as well as reviewing any severe weather plans you may have. That's it for this briefing. Please remember to stay safe and stay aware of any severe weather happening in your area today. Check back in on our forecast for up-to-date information as this event unfolds.